Hello, this is Hoffman Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to a free add-on uh, called Light Studio. It's been on uh, my add-ons list for quite some time. Uh, but from the, from the tutorials that I've seen online, it's kind of intimidated me a little bit until I actually jumped into it myself to take a look at it. And it's not really that hard at all. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but I'll leave a uh, a link for the download in the description below this video so you guys can download it once it's, again it's open source. It's from a company called Leon Moon Studios and it's pretty generous of them to let us use this add-on for free because it really does help a lot. So once you've installed it, you know it's the same process, edit, download it onto your system, click on edit, preferences, install navigate to which, where you've saved it on your computer click on that once you've done that click on install add-on you've already done that and let me type in lights here and you just put a check mark in the box there and it's activated and you'll see it come up in the toolbar off to the right end or right side of your user interface we're going to use Suzanne as our example here and you just click on Create Light Studio. We're just going to stick to the basics of uh, of the uh, add-on, just to keep it simple for ourselves. Now, sometimes with this, what I've seen from my own uh, experience with this add-on, sometimes it it acts kind of wonky, but for the most part, it does um, does a good job at lighting your uh, subject in your scene, and you just add add lights into it. This is your profile, which is the main um, folder, I guess you can say, for your light system for your light system setup. And so, to add light, just click on this plus sign, and it gives you options here of the kind of lights you want that you can choose from. I usually just stick to advanced because it's it's really straight. It's a lot to me. It's a lot more straightforward than the basic one. I know it's kind of that's kind of a uh, weird to say that but for me that's how it works best you've got your synthetic rings which people use for Instagram you know videos and photos I guess Instagram only does photos so this gives you that simulates that it has a uh, umbrella light which gives you a soft focused light camera flash is a little bit harsher but you have all these you have a good amount of light presets to choose from so we're going to click on the ring one if you scroll down, it gives you a color for the lights. Um, there's a lot of options here, but we're just going to stick to the first top two, which is the intensity of your lights and the texture of your light, or the color saturation, I mean. Now, if we were to render this right now, let me press F12 so you can see what it's going to look like. F12. Now you can see that it doesn't really showcase the uh, color of the light it's still just white in order for you to really see the the saturation of the color of the light from the, the light source which is this you have to bring up the color saturation a little bit and also the intensity bring that up quite a bit let's press F12 again and see what we can get F12 and you can see that it's got that orange a uh, bit of the orange on there let's zoom in a little bit you can see the orange reflecting on the image there that's how you can and the higher you increase the intensity of the light and the saturation the more of that color will be splashed so to speak onto our light source there or onto our image there or mesh let me say now let's let's get rid of that light source that we don't need that press delete and click back on our um, on our original light. You can add more light. You can you can add as many lights as you want to. From what I've seen, let's add another light to this. Now let's click on our uh, options here to choose a different light source. And let's click on that one. Let's change the color to something else. Let's make it green. And what I've seen with this is that. It populates all of our lights in the same in the same area. 
because we just added a second light to it, but you can't see where it is because it's on top of the first light. To move this, you just press G to grab, and then move your mouse around. The cool thing about it is that it, it focuses the lights on our mesh. In order for it to do that, I think you have to have your mesh selected, or your model selected, and then choose your light source. That way you can know where to splash light onto. And then let's increase our saturation on this and increase our intensity. Let's make our inten intensity up to, let's say, 50, a little bit over 50. And let's add another light to it. Let's choose an umbrella light this time. And it's going to populate it, I guess, in the same area as this light is. Let's, let's press G to grab. Oh, that's not it. It's over here. Click it again. And yeah, sometimes it's just iffy with this stuff, with this uh, add-on. Actually, let's... I forgot to add another light, so I just changed the previous light. Let's add another light source to it. And then turn this to the synthetic area C. Now it adds three lights to it. G to grab and move this one around. And now we have three light sources here. Let's change the color of this one to blue. Crank up the saturation and the intensity of this one also. So now we have the synthetic area C, which is blue, bluish purple. We have the umbrella light, which is kind of greenish, or is green, like a lime green, a dark lime green. And we have the synthetic ring B, which is an orange color. Let's see what we get from this. Let's press F12 on our keyboard. And yeah, it gives us all these different uh, splashes of color on our subject here. Now, the, the main thing that I have an issue in terms of this add-on, I mean, it, it's great, but it would be even better if, there, if it had, like, light presets attached to it, like... Uh, Blender Guru's Light Studio, which has presets for different light arrangements, it'll be easier. But with this, it doesn't have that at all. I mean, if you want to use this effectively, you'd have to you know, do, do a light study on, on light placement in terms of uh, a studio, learning about rim lighting and, you know, uh, full face lighting, things like that, to get a, a better, so you can get better use out of this. But yeah, for something that is uh, open source and free, this is uh, this isn't bad. And uh, as we, and I might do another tutorial on this to go more in depth into all, all these other aspects or options of the uh, Light Studio. Yeah, but that's today's Blender Quick Tip. Uh, this is the Light Studio add-on. And once again, I really thank you guys who are have watched the videos. And thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, and those of you who are subscribing now. And those of you who, who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.